I say we make electric motorcycles, but it's really more than just you know motorcycle powered by an electric powertrain. I think it's the future of motorcycling. What's the new new? What's the latest model? For this year, for model year 17, a couple of the, of the bikes that have been around for a while, the S and DS, it was good to have two price points and two capacities for people to choose from, but they were a bit too tight. What we decided to do instead was to differentiate those more, and we introduced a smaller capacity S and a smaller capacity DS that are half battery size. And that allowed us to introduce, you know, a very large storage space right behind the battery. So not only do you have this different price point that's more differentiated, but you gain a lot of practicality with the bike. Do you make all the systems that are on the bike, including the battery and the power? Yeah, yeah, we engineer everything uh, and we assemble uh, the full vehicle in Scotts Valley, our facility in California. Is range anxiety still a thing? It's more of a perception thing than a reality thing. If you're looking for, for a bike to, you know, to, to commute, to have you know, fun on the weekends, you have plenty of range. The highest range we have now is 200 miles. The highest range vehicle we produced was 40 miles. So we've gone from 40 miles to 200, over 200 miles uh, in, in a few short years. So most people, you know, we have plenty of range at this point. I'm happy to hear your optimism about the direction that battery tech is going, but isn't it a lot harder to get from, you know, 40 miles of range to 200 miles to range to something nearly unlimited? What makes you so optimistic about battery tech? So two things. First, that, that we have been basically on the same, in the same chemistry for a long time, and it's just been the optimization of the chemistry that has gotten us here. So there really hasn't been a step change. The beautiful thing about, you know, battery technology and what we're doing is that it's plug and play, right? So when that battery comes that, that gives you a thousand miles or whatever it is, uh, we'll be able to use it. I think that, you know, where the industry or where customer usage is going is faster charging. So not so much a bigger battery so you can go further between charges, but um, faster charging so you can go grocery shopping and plug it in, you come back and, and you're ready to go again, right? When you're designing the bikes, how much are you thinking about the possible fleet customers, like a police department? So when we designed the, the latest platform of models that came out in 2013, coincidentally, at the time, the military, the US Special Forces approached us. You know, they wanted a low noise, low heat signature, you know, stealth uh, vehicle. As we were developing these platforms, one of the ingredients that went into these platforms was, you know, their specifications, which was cool because we, we made the you know, product more robust and more interesting for, for, for everyone. So what are the price points for these bikes? The lowest, uh, you know, entry level is $89.95, I believe. 89 bucks, I'll get one. 84.95, see? <laughs> 84.95 uh, and then 59 15.995 uh, for the SR DSR.